Now that you've jailbroken your Apple TV, you'll find that the jailbreak's not too useful until you install some custom software on it. So I will show you how to do that using the instructions on this blog here. Again, this isn't my blog, so I can't take any credit, but I will post a link to it. So first you need to find the IP address of your Apple TV. You can go to Settings General Network on the TV to get that. It should look something like 192.168. something, depending on your network setup. Next we need to SSH into the Apple TV. To do that, uh, Mac users can just start up the terminal. Windows users may need to download a third-party SSH client. I know of one called Putty on Windows. But Mac users can start by typing SSH space dash L space root space, and then their IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.110. And then if you've never connected before, it may take a few seconds, and then ask you a question about the security, on which you'll just type yes. And now for the password, you want to enter the default password, which is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And you can change that later if you want using the P-A-S-S-W-D command. So now we're at the command line of our Apple TV. And we can update the installation repository on the device by typing apt-get space update. And this may take about a minute or so. Okay, so now that that's done, we can install a program called Neato TV, which I would say is basically the core software for our jailbreak. It's like the App Store on the Apple TV, sort of like the Cydia App Store on jailbroken iPhones. To install it, you're again going to type apt-get space install space com dot neato that's n-i-t-o dot neato tv with a capital t and a capital v and i've already installed this but assuming you're installing for the first time it will ask you, do you want to install? Just type Y, and after about a minute, it should complete the install. Then you just need to reboot your Apple TV. So type kill all, one word, space Apple TV with a capital A, capital T, and capital V then you can just type exit and we'll go to our Apple TV for the rest of the process. Alright, so now that we have Neato TV, you should see it in the main menu of your Apple TV. And if we go to it and go to install software, then you can install software. Now the first and arguably most important software I'm going to download is called Update Be Gone. And what it does 
is when Apple releases a firmware update for the Apple TV, it will prevent the Apple TV from prompting you to upgrade. And that's important because if you did upgrade, then you would lose your jailbreak. So you want to make sure you never update until a jailbreak is released. So if we go into Update Be Gone and choose Install, then it begins downloading and installing the software. When that install is complete, I'll hit Menu to exit out of it. And the next software I'm going to install is the reason I jailbroke my Apple TV. It's called XBMC. It's the Xbox Media Center. And among other things, it will allow me to watch Hulu through my Apple TV. So I'll go into that and choose install. And after about a minute or two, it will complete and the Apple TV may restart automatically. If it does not restart, you can restart it manually by going to Neato TV, Settings, and Reboot Apple TV. Our next step back on the computer is to download the BlueCop repository. It's available at this link, which I will also post. And when you download it, make sure it saves it as a zip file and doesn't extract it automatically. I think Safari's default settings will extract the file. So you may have to hold down Option when you click on it. Next we're gonna SFTP the file we just downloaded onto our Apple TVs. To do that we'll need to put it in the location slash private slash var slash mobile slash media. Windows users may need to download a separate SFTP client. Uh, Mac users can just use the terminal. First we'll need to go to the directory containing the file. So in my case that's CD space downloads and then we start our SFTP connection by typing SFTP space root at and then the IP address, which in my case is 192.168.1.110. And then the default password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And then we want to cd space slash private slash var slash mobile slash media with a capital M. And then we want to put space repository dot blue cop dot xbmc dash plugins dot zip and that uploads the file to our Apple TV so we quit that and go to our Apple TV for the next step. So on our Apple TV the next step is to start up XBMC and add in the repository that we just downloaded. So we can go to System, Settings, and scroll down to Add-ons, and select Install from Zip File, and select Home Folder, Media, and then the repository file we downloaded.
And now that we've installed the repository, go to Get Add-ons and Blue Cop Add-on Repository. Choose Video Add-ons and then choose Hulu and click Install. And after a few seconds, it will say Enabled next to it. Once it's been enabled, if you go back into it and choose Configure, you can change some settings such as if you have a Hulu login, you can enable login and enter your username and password and um, also enable Hulu Plus if you subscribe to it. Now if you go back to the main menu and now if you go to videos, add-ons, then you have Hulu. And you can, um, with your logon, access your queue in here. And just to prove out that this works, here's a show I'm watching on it. And I'd say I've watched about three shows on this so far and haven't had any issues whatsoever. So now we're done with the Hulu hack. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.